Hi, this is Adam from Inflectra and welcome to today's video. We're going to be looking at how you use the requirement task feature in Spira Team to take some requirements we've already written and add development tasks to them to improve the estimation and tracking. So in the previous videos, we have created some requirements. We've also created some releases and sprints to develop our sprint plan. And what we'll be doing today is taking those requirements that you see here on our requirements list, and we're going to be estimating out and adding individual tasks for each of them. Um, some methodologies like Scrum specifically use tasks as a way to take a user story or requirement and break it down into smaller pieces that could be assigned to different people. Sometimes they can be for the same people, but you just want to have more accurate tracking of completion. So what we'll do is click on our very first requirement that we created. This is the system must allow entry of users. And this is the page that details the requirement. And as you notice, there are lots of different tabs. The overview tab gives you the, the main information of the requirement. There's the test coverage, which we'll come to in the future. And the task tab is the one we want today. That lets you see which tasks are associated with this requirement. And right now, there aren't any because it's a brand new requirement. And before we go any further, we're going to want to show one of the extra columns because we're going to be wanting to enter the estimate for each task as we enter it. And to save time and have to edit things afterwards, we want to enter that as we create them. So first of all, go to Show Hide Columns and choose Show Estimated Effort. If you've got a very narrow screen, you might want to uh, hide one of the columns. For example, we're going to hide the Type column because we don't need this right now. And then what we do is we go to New Task. And that creates a new task directly under that requirement. It will inherit the priority of the parent requirement. So this requirement is a critical requirement. So it will default the priority to the same. Um, you could change that if you wish, or if you're happy with it, just leave it. And what we'll do now is enter in the name of the actual task. And for this requirement, which is the uh, allowing the entry of users, we're going to have three tasks. The first thing will be create user data tables. And the estimate for that will be 10 hours. So unlike the estimates at the requirement level, these are in hours, not in points. And when I finish it, I'm going to hit Save and New because I want to create two more. Uh, when we get to the last one, I'll probably just hit the Save button since I don't want any more. And if you are looking to get this from somewhere, I would recommend you get the uh, Spire Team Quick Start Guide out. Uh, that's a PDF on our website and it contains everything you're seeing me use today. It has a list of all the tasks and the estimates I'm using and the screenshots. It's good to have with you if you want to follow along. Or if you want to just enter your own tasks and your own hours in, in your version, that's completely fine as well. So what I'll do is I'm going to enter two more tasks. The second one will be develop the user business objects. And we're going to assign that one also 10 hours of effort, save and new. And the third one will be the build the user creation screens, which is a UI task. And that's a bit longer, so we'll make that 20 hours. And we'll hit save this time. You can also enter on the keyboard. Now I'll go to the next requirement. I'll do the same thing. This is the modification of users. So we'll have this to extend the user business object to handle updates. Since we already have a user functionality, we're extending it. So that's probably only going to be, say, five hours of work. The next one will be the adding of the user list page, where you can see the list of users. List pages are reasonably complex with filtering and so on. So let's give that 15 hours. And the last one will be the user detail page where you can edit all the information about a user. So adding the user details page. And we'll make that 20 hours just to give it some different values. You can see how it works. Um, notice as I enter these in, the overall estimated effort for the whole requirement and the projected effort will be uh, automatically calculated from all the tasks underneath. The next thing we're going to do is go to the next requirement. So we'll take this one and we're going to add some tasks here also. This is allowing the deletion of users, which is a bit simpler. So we're only going to have two tasks. One will be extend the user business object to handle deletes. And we'll make that one a five hour task. And the second task will be update the user list page to add delete functionality. So the page can do the deletes. That's a bit more complex. Anything with UI tends to be. So we'll make that 10 hours. Hit save. 
And the last thing we want to do is go to this fourth requirement in the other module and add some tasks here. Now, this is a more complex piece of functionality because it involves notifications. So let's go back to having three tasks. So we'll have create the user administration homepage. Make that 15 hours. Save and new. Add user settings for notifications to the database. So there's a place to store that data. Um, that sounds pretty complicated, but maybe not as much as the screens. So 10 hours. The last one will be create the actual user notifications page. And we think that's pretty difficult, so we'll make that 20 hours. So the tasks, again, as I said, are in hours. The user stories are in uh, points. And the system actually has a feature in the administration where you can take all of the tasks and all of the requirements, and it will normalize them to say, well, based on the tasks that you've assigned and based on the number of story points for this team working on this project, the number of hours that we typically have spending, the velocity of our story points is X number of hours. And you can adjust that during the lifetime of the project, so that way your estimates uh, in terms of how much time it will take will vary depending on the team's experience. As the team gets faster with a higher velocity, you could actually have this, you know one story point won't take as long in terms of duration because ultimately the story point estimate is a size estimate the hours is a way for us to determine the duration how long it's going to take and the two are not the same and if you want to see how that works all you do is just go into administration and go into the planning options which is right here under and planning and you'll see here that if you go to the point effort. By default, the system says, well, one story point should be eight hours. That's just an initial value. You hit suggest. And based on the current values in this current project, it's going to give you an alternative. And if you like that, you can hit the apply button, and that will actually apply that suggestion to the, uh, the project. And we'll do that in this case. Why not? Hit save. And now the effort's going to be based on 21.5 hours. So every story point we have is going to actually be based on the number of hours and that conversion factor. So back on the requirements page, just to see where we are, we've now got all of our requirements and there's a progress bar, whereas before it said no tasks, you'll now notice if you hover the mouse over, you can see the number of tasks in the tooltip belonging to each of those requirements. Uh, it shows us a gray bar because nothing has started yet. When we start to actually complete the requirements and things are either late or on time, you will notice that these colors change and the bar shows progress indicators. Um, the estimates here is our story point estimate that we saw before. If you want to, you can also go in the show hide columns and show the task esti estimate as well. And that's based on the hours. So that gives you the hour roll up based on the current tasks. So, just to recap, we've got our requirements, we've uh, at written tasks for each of them, and we've updated the planning metrics based on the current number of task hours, so we can see how long the story points should take. What's our estimated velocity based on the size of tasks we currently have? In the next video, we'll be looking at taking this set of requirements and then developing our test plan and figuring out what test cases we'll need and how long the testing will take. So until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.